Hi, the 29th of March today. Uh, it's been a freezing cold day here. We had a hard frost this morning. Uh, we've had hailstones and sleet on and off most of the day and a bit of cold wind. I've been working down in the polytunnels most of the day, but I'm up in the greenhouse now. Uh, as promised, we'll have a quick look around the greenhouse. Uh, the more tender stuff's in here, but it is jam-packed. Uh, I have made a bit of room today, so you'll see one or two spaces on the benches. Turn the camera around, thank you. Right, we'll start off right in the very corner. A um, few peppers, different varieties. Uh, quite a bit of basil, different varieties again. Moving through, more peppers. A few onions for the pot at the back. Uh, odd varieties of pot leeks that are new to me. First of the, well, it's not the first, it's the second batch of tomatoes in there. I've got three or four batches. Um, more peppers. Very late set blanche leeks. Um, they will get potted. Probably these will go down to stock. And I've still got a few uh, late set pot leeks uh, on the benches here. These will all get potted up. Um, still plenty of time. They're still in cells at the moment. We are getting on a bit, but uh, I can't do anything about it. The place has been full in the middle uh, bench. Some leaks in one litre pots, everything two and three litre is all down the bottom apart from some of my own in here. Uh, some still in seven centimetre. Later set tomatoes. A few blanched leaks waiting to be potted up. Most of my blanched leaks are in here. They are my GSNs, uh, still in one litre pots. Grown very quickly since the last time you've seen them, which is only two or three weeks ago. Uh, they are ready to go up in the bigger pots now. Still nice and short, they've put a lot of weight on, they're grown well. My onions, um, they're actually 13 and a half inches around, but I'm not keen on them. Uh, the foliage isn't the best, and they've stepped up very high, so I'm not sure whether they'll make the grade or not, I don't think they will. They're certainly not what I'm seeing um, on Facebook with other people. That's a seedling, uh, I've got a few nice seedlings which I'll show you. I'm not so keen on that, it's very big, it's in a 3 litre pot. It's got to be six inches around, maybe it's a bit more, but uh, it's grown too quick and it's very squat, so I'm not so hot on that one. That's a better one behind. These are GSN seed. Not too bad. Later set onions again. I'm not that struck on them at the moment. These are my Cumbrian leeks. Um, they're looking fair, they're in five litre pots. Quite happy with them couple of giants in the middle for heavyweights Amelia's which I'm not even going to plant um, they're in one litre pots at the moment but I'll just keep those for stock uh, onion plants I've just taken a load of pot pot leaks down the garden these are some later um, blanche leaks these are to be still to be collected one litre pot there's a few on the bench there these are all for late orders Moving around a few more. These are all blanche leeks. Um, that was the surplus that I've had. So they will get potted. I'll still have people who call for those. Virus free plants are looking quite nice. But if you remember, I did burn some. And that's the burn that I did with some spray when the sun come out. <clears throat> so I've spoiled a few, but never mind. I've got a few. Moving back onto the middle bench. Um, some of the earlier tomatoes I set. This is... Um, Red Dragon from Medwins. I move to this side, the sun's quite blinding there. <clears throat> I've taken some cuttings from these this morning. Um, I only got six plants, germinated off two packets of earlies. Um, but I've taken a few cuttings off and they were good cuttings, so they should come all right. Uh, some late, later set Cumbrian. They're looking quite decent. Moving round. Um, the last bench, a few pips, onion pips, which I set away very late. Please enough for those. A few onion plants, which will go for stock. Moving on to this bench, we'll move on to my own blanche leeks. Uh, I've done a few of each type. These are Peter Clarks. And move on to Welsh seedling. <coughs> These are all... Um, Nine and 
a half inch collars that are all about an inch in the ground. So these are all still about 10 inches long at the present moment. They are coming out the top. RMGs, this is Ronnie Gill's new one. It's looking quite nice. Some small RMGs, later set. Some Berwick. Again, long, but not too heavy. And then a few of a, an earlier batch of Berwick. These are the seedlings that I was talking about. All GSN seed, a uh, few pot leaks in the front. This seed was actually seven year old that I've set. And it's just Musselberg, but it was packaged properly and it's come through very well. Uh, but some nice GSN seedlings at the back there. So I will be selecting from these. I'll probably plant maybe 10 or 12. Um, the rest I may put in the buckets just to see. There's one there to go throughout. But uh, a couple more blanch leaks. Chives in the front. They'll go up in the larger pots. Some very late set exhibition onions. Uh, just for eating purposes. These are the cuttings I've just taken. Tomato plants. Of Red Dragon. Again, seedlings along the back. GSN seedlings. A lot of them have come fairly true, a couple of them are a little bit mottled, um, but I'm quite happy, I've got a little bit of thrip damage in here, I'll have to get on the top and get that sprayed, and then we've got later set um, basil in here, tomatoes coming through from Medwins, different variety of basil, some more basil, Thai basil, um, some old seed of gold star which I had on the left here, the ones on the right are Maisie. The first Maisie I got, I didn't get any germination from. Uh, the second batch hasn't done much better, to be truthful. I'm not too happy about that. Everything else has come well. This is um, a heated bed that we're on here. Comfrey just starting to pop through. So everything's looking well. And again, some late set. These are Clan Edwin. And again, they've got a good bit length on them, so I'm quite happy with them. And pendle at this end. Again, they're popping out the top of the, the collars, so maybe it's 11 inches long, these. Very happy. Um, this little bit of time off with the self-isolation, um, it's worked a treat for me. It's uh, keeping me very busy, but I've started to get back on top of all the work. Well, that was some um, shallot seed that I got from John Brannan, and it's come away very well. Zebrun. Uh, I'm looking forward to growing this actually I'm going to prick those out and uh, I'll plant all of those and see how they do thanks very much we'll see you again bye bye now keep safe